Perseverance recently got the best images yet of Mars rocks with a mysterious purplish coating, which happens to look a lot like paint. So how did this stuff form? Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. For more than seven months, Perseverance has been roving the floor of Jezero Crater. Starting early in the mission, rocks with a patchy purplish coating were observed. Here's an early example, cleverly named Hedgehog, and a quarter for scale. There's a thin coating of orangish dust covering this gray rock that's thicker in some of the holes and divots. That's just typical Mars, but the purplish patches are what's weird. Several weeks later, Perseverance investigated this very dusty slab of rock, including zapping it with the laser on SuperCam to measure its chemistry. That blew away enough dust so that Watson, the robotic arm-mounted camera, could get a good look. And there again was the patchy purplish coating covering gray rock, observed at the highest resolution yet. Last month, Perseverance climbed out of the dune-covered terrain named Sita and into this landscape. Here's Mars Guy for Scale checking out the rock that would provide the first core samples of the mission. And here's a mosaic of mass cam Z images that have been color calibrated to show the natural color of these rocks. This rock shows the coating pretty clearly, and with this color calibrated view, I think we can start calling it mauve. Here's another coated rock that's been sculpted and polished on one side from sandblasting and fluted on the other side. The coating must have been deposited after the erosion, which makes it geologically recent. The rock that was core sampled, dubbed Rochette, also shows similar sandblasting erosion. This close-up view gives the best look yet at the mauve coating. It really does look like thick blobs of paint, and in some places it's been chipped off. Here's a spot where a coating chip is still hanging out, waiting for a gust of wind or dust devil to carry it away. The hole that was produced with the abrading bit on the drill definitely chipped off some of the coating, as seen in this close-up view from Watson. Rock coatings are common on Earth. In arid environments, they're called desert varnish, and they're the canvas for petroglyphs like these. The dark varnish is chipped away, exposing lighter rock underneath. This cross-section of desert varnish viewed with a scanning electron microscope shows the incredibly thin sedimentary layers that form it. There's still uncertainty about how exactly desert varnish forms, including the role of microbes, but dust and water definitely are involved. We know that Mars has lots of dust, but where does the water come from on this extreme desert world? Maybe it comes from ice at the poles. Turns out that the axis of Mars wobbles so much, thanks to the push and pull of gravity from other planets and the Sun, that ice gets redistributed from the poles to lower latitudes. These obliquity variations mean that the climate is changing on 100,000 year time scales. So maybe the mauve coatings that are being eroded in the current climate will reform in the future when moisture from a bit of melting ice mixes with the ever-present Martian dust. <laughs>